I joined the Navy in 1955. I was drafted into the U.S. Army in 1965. I was in the United States Air Force. Uh, United States Air Force and the North Dakota Air National Guard. I was in the Army Reserves. Always wanted to be something bigger than myself. Yeah, when I joined, it was May of 2001. Uh, that September was September 11th. So yeah, I joined in a time of peace, and then it suddenly became a time of war. We were first on call between us and USS Carl Vincent. and I was on the Enterprise, and yeah, saw the first action of uh, Operation Enduring Freedom. I did a combat tour over to Kandahar, Afghanistan. We were getting attacked almost daily over there. It's a bigger sense of calling. It's, a, it's hard to explain. When you're in the service, there's always that chance. What I was doing was for my country, and I knew that I would have to sacrifice if I was put in that kind of a situation. It could happen. I had some friends on, the, on a ship that got blown up. And I lost people who I graduated with before they probably were barely 20 years old. They're fighting for your rights. Brothers and sisters are dying for that cause. <laughs> it's, yeah. People who did give their lives gave their all. Sorry. <laughs> I, yeah. It's not just the veterans, their whole family suffered because of this. We've been involved in an awful lot of wars. And I think there's a lot of people that don't realize the part that the military plays in America. You gotta respect the fact that you may not be the one that wants to perform that job, but that job needs to get done. And there's a bunch of people that answered that call and did it for you and took care of you. It might not mean a ton to everybody, but it means a lot to us. <laughs>